Oh my gosh, seeing the ice field with the sun setting like this. It's really it is out crazy. pretty flight. I'm John from Fly 8 Mike Alpha, CFI turned airline pilot turned back to CFI. Come along on my journey, flying Alaska to Florida and beyond. Last time on Flight Mike Alpha, Steph and I picked our way out of some pretty nasty weather. The weather cams showed the passes to be clear, but by the time we got there, it had changed a bit. So we took a little detour over some beautiful water and saw some amazing glaciers on our way into Seward. Saw some cool stuff around the airport and then loaded up the airplane to head on back to Saldovia. Oh man, that was a good dinner. Really good dinner. Time to go home. Take me home to Saldovia. Two, nine, or eight, three. Remarks, density altitude, zero. Sorry, traffic, six to Delta entering runway one, six departing straight out to it. Nice short runway. It's Florida short, it's Alaska really long. <laughs> that is Florida short. supposed to be on top of the room? I think she slid on takeoff. Aww. <laughs> you get her? Yeah. There you go, see ya. Rotate and you hear V1, rotate. <laughs> It's like all you can say. <laughs> like, holy crap. Yeah. And we thought we could top uh, Lake Clark Pass. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty darn close to topping it. The waterfalls here are crazy. Nobody ever talks about Alaskan waterfalls. They're awesome. Thousands of feet tall. So those glacier cruises go right here. Oh, and pull right into the bay there? Yeah. And you can watch them calving and stuff. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't really need to see my own face anymore. Let's put that camera in that way. I came here uh, that one time, and it was like February or January, and it was dusk like this, but it was like 3 p.m. <laughs> yeah. And it was just one of the most beautiful flights I've ever done. Be my kind of uh, time schedule, just wake up at like <laughs> noon, and then uh, go catch the sunset, yeah. start your day off right <laughs> with a nice sunset. Yeah. The sun rises at 10, you don't feel like a slacker. You're like, yeah. okay, waking up at the crack of dawn. Field. Pretty freaking spectacular. So after an amazing flight over the Harding Ice Field, we headed back into Soldovia just in time. The sun was starting to go down, and there's no lights on that runway. It's a pretty interesting, a little bit of a dicey approach, especially at night. So Steph made a great landing with just the cones and the reflectors on the cones kind of showing us where the runway was. It was a lot darker than it looks in this video. 
But the next day, we got up and headed over to Homer for a little freight run, and I got to hang out with Chris Palmer from Angle of Attack, and that was my last day in Alaska for a little while here. Call my radio, Cessna 296 to Delta, 60 foot rock, 1,500 inbound with Juliet. Cessna 296 to Delta, Homer radio traffic, uh, Cessna outbound your direction about four minutes ago and another one inbound over 60 foot rock about a minute and a half ago. Copy, 60 Delta is traffic. 60 Delta is your final two two. So with Steph all loaded up, I hung out in Homer, I got to meet up with Chris Palmer from Angle of Attack, we talked about ground school and the CFI life as it's called, and then he was kind enough to give me a ride back on over to Saldovia in his awesome Alaskan 172. Okay, so... That was the end of Alaska for me for a little while. Uh, next time you see us, uh, I see it. Steph will be joining me in Florida. Uh, we'll be testing out some of our camera gear, getting some new camera gear, and just kind of getting ready for this trip from Alaska down to the lower 48. So there might be a couple episodes down in Florida for you guys to check out before we get back to Alaska in October. Mm -hmm. And start flying around so start the big trip. by the time you guys see this it may already be october <laughs> uh by the time i get around to editing this obviously editing these videos takes a lot of time it's about two to three hours per minute usually um sometimes an hour per minute but um yeah a 10 minute video can easily be 30 plus hours of editing so it's a little time consuming so they're not always real time but we're trying to catch up and make it so <laughs> exactly so you guys know what to do, like the video if you like it, and subscribe if you have not already, and if you have any tips of how to deal with a smelly dog, you can leave them in the comments She's below. She's not smelly. She's kind of smelly. <laughs> but we look forward to seeing you guys in Florida in the next episode. So I've learned to judge exactly how far you are from civilization by exactly how much things cost, like basic necessities, right? Like fuel at $5.15 a gallon, or beer that's $8 a pint. And you don't have to prepay or put a card in or anything. You, you pump just first, pump it. <laughs> and then you pay. That's kind of handy and trustworthy, but I guess when there, you're in a town with no roads in or out, then you're not exactly going to go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we even have cars? <laughs> <laughs>